Hello from General Tools and Instruments. I'm here to show you the new Deluxe Dowling Jig, model 851, from General Tools and Instruments. When it comes to joining boards at right angles, or corner joining, you need to readjust the stop collar to a shallower depth for the face or surface holes, and to a greater depth for the end holes. The face, you want a half inch deep hole. For the end dowel holes, you want at least one inch. As before, we need to add the thickness of the jig and the height of the guide bushing, which is one inch, to the depth of our board holes. So that would add up to be, uh, if you're going to have a half inch hole for the, the shallow dowel, that would add up to be an inch and a half and a full two inches for the end or edge holes. Next, we mark the position of the dowels onto the boards. In this case, again, we're going to use three dowels spaced about one inch in from the edges and one in the center. We align the two boards and extend the lines at least two inches on both sides of the joint. This way, we'll bore the end holes and when we have the jig set up, We'll also bore the mating holes in the face of the joint. And this is how we'll do it. All right, we move to our clamp. Tighten that securely. Put the jig, again, on the end, using the top holes, using the V-notch, to align the jig with our lines. Tighten the single screw. We're using the center hole because that lines up with the center of the board and corresponds to the 5 16 inch dowel. And we're ready. One hole. Move the jig to the line. The next mark. And continue this until we four holes for all the marks. That gives us our end holes. Now to bore the surface holes, we place the jig Again, lined up with our marks. Line up the V-notch. Tighten the jig. Secure the workpiece. And in this case, we'll be moving the guide bushing to the corresponding hole so we can drill in the face. In this case, we have to reduce the depth of our stop to one and one half inch. All there is to it. In a 90 degree corner. It's as easy as that. 